Yes, I'm an expert when it comes to Airbnb. I've been doing this since 2015, but it doesn't hurt to humble yourself and work with other people that are experts in their field as well to help you become a better host and more profitable on your Airbnb. So what did I do? One of my properties at Rancho Laredo has been doing amazing, but I always feel it can still be doing better. And I'm like, what am I missing? What could I do to fix this? How can I improve it? So I reached out to the one and only, the master, of all data, John Bianchi, the Airbnb data guy. So to be clear, this guy has been teaching me so much. I'm a coach on Rob Bill's channel, so is John Bianchi, and he kind of just blew my mind on how he dives into a property or a city and does research and all these numbers on how to find the most profitable Airbnb in your area and all the amenities you may need. I'm gonna put his link below. He has a bunch of free stuff you need to check out. Go watch all of his YouTube videos but I'm telling you right now, this guy literally changed my life when it comes to comping a short-term rental. Like, blew my mind. So I jumped on a call with John Bianchi, which I'm gonna show you guys clips of that call, how he does his process. And then I'm gonna show you all the updates we made on this property and boom, we got a 30 day booking right away. And we got a few other bookings coming up for summer, all because of great hosting, of course, but adding these extra amenities, the wow factor, check it out. Let's talk about the pros and cons of your property. So huge pro is this putting green. That's an awesome, awesome pro. Um, it's also a lot of turfed up space we could do things with, right? Cons here is that you have this netting or the fence up on your very first photo. That should, wouldn't, without a doubt, should not be done. Um, also, this photo is a, um, I'm sorry to say it, man, but it's a really bad photo. It's actually too bright of a photo. Uh, it's, the colors are not accurate in the way that it's, it's being shown off. Uh, it's not showing off the entire yard and it's, its whole view. Here's one example of how, what I mean by that. If you see here, the drone is directly above and we've cut it so that it's just the yard and you can see everything that's in here. With yours, it's on this angle where you actually can't really see anything. It actually kind of feels very empty. Even though this is a huge putting green, it feels really empty. And then you can see this one here is similar idea of what you were trying to do but it's on a lower angle and uh you're able still able to see every single amenity that's in here and actually i like this angle better because you can get the wall in the painted color that it is as you can see now we go look up at look at your photo uh we can see the difference right of like where the mistake is and how it could be done better and different i like going back and forth like that because it makes it a lot clearer now your interior is awesome the style of your property on the interior is high quality, good quality, all these things. But the thing is, is that the backyard drives revenue. Backyard drives about 80% of your revenue. And what we have back here is a great canvas to work with. We just wanna really bring it together. So this property here, Scottsdale property, absolutely crushed it with their design in a tiny little space, okay? Tiny little space they're working with. Yours is much larger. This is their putting green space that they have here, right? On top of this putting green, they have eight yoga mats, two sets of cornhole, bocce ball, and all the stuff set up over there. And they have the little flag set up. I want you to steal all of these ideas and put them in your space right over here. Okay. And keep in mind, you have a probably a, a putting green that's probably three to four times the size of theirs, right? So uh, you could do more with in comparison to what they're doing there. This is gonna cost you maybe $200, $300 to be able to do that. And all of a sudden your backyard space looks way more entertaining, way more full. And it's like, whoa, right? Like, look how, look how much more we could do here. This photo stands out like crazy in comparison to just a green turf, right? So that's the very first thing I wanna talk about. Now, the next thing I wanna point out here is actually these lights that go from here to here, to here, to here, to here, all the way across, right? This here is the is money is absolute money. And let me show you why, because I, I love this property so much. Look at that photo. Look how cool that looks with all those lights, that twilight photo set up, um, the way that the lights are everywhere. They even have them inside and above this space over here. And so when I see all of this, all I see is just huge opportunity for you to be able to do this um, across your entire patio space. So from here to here, you could have and I'm not just saying like put one string here, string it along here and string it back over there. That would be the absolute worst way to do it. You could probably get five to six strands easily all the way across this entire space here. And now this entire backyard's lit up and it looks as cool as it could possibly feel. Like even having this neon light back here lights this place up. Like how cool is that, right? And then on top of that, look how they have the floaties. They took out the floaties, but then added them up along the wall in these different spaces. What this is doing is filling 
the space. It's filling it up so that it everywhere you look, there's something going on, right? It feels very, very full. Like this here is a bit of an example of it, right? So you're showing a couple of golf balls here and this on the ground. That's a, that's a, a, a touch of that idea that you want to be able to do, right? And one other thing I want to mention too is the color that they're using on a lot of this. So you can see that uh, they have um, the boards that they use have some colors in them. These are very colorful, so it makes it look a, a lot more fun uh, and entertaining. I also really, really enjoy what they did here too. In the corner of their property, they showed off even these few little things. So one, two, three, that feels really full. And they you know, probably just brought this in for the photo because this is supposed to be in the water, but they brought this over. And now this looks like a really full additional amenities and things that you're gonna be able to do. This giant Jenga and this, and even this floaty, Again, it's not gonna cost you more than like $150 for that. And we're, everything I've talked about so far is probably less than $1,000. And maybe the photo shoot's gonna cost you $500 to $600 or whatever, but we're still, we're at like $1,500 in total. Uh, now they also have a mural at the back. I think murals are absolutely awesome and a great way to really make your place stand out and feel really vibrant, fun, and like a cool place to be. Uh, and I believe you have the wall to be able to do that as well, right? So, um, you know, what we've been doing recently is just painting the entire inside of this wall a color so that it really stands out all the way through. And you can even just do stripes right down the middle, um, but adding a mural like probably around here or back over here, just somewhere where it's gonna be very visible to the people that are there. Tiniest little thing, but I think these are worth every single last penny. They make the property so much cooler. And if you can make a property cool and sexy and fun, people are gonna to wanna to book it out, right? This space here, um, I don't know exactly how big it is, but if you can do this, this is my strongest recommendation. I think it's one of the best amenities that you could add in. So this is a uh, pool table, card table, ping pong table. The reason I think it's so awesome is because uh, it, because of the fact that it's a table. So it can still be the card table that you have set up here, but then you could it could be pool table. And a pool table is the greatest amenity that you could possibly put into a Airbnb uh, game wise because people can play it for hours, right? So if you're gonna do all that, I think it'd be so much better to have a pool table here in comparison to this four seater chair table setup. And then um, the last thing is the garage. So if you could just add a couple more games and, and maybe a, a, some sort of decor to add a little bit of color to this, right? Add a little life to this. It would just make it look so much more enjoyable. And I try to focus on, you know, kids between the ages of 10 and 16 or 17, let's call it, right? And you do that by adding just a, you know, some cheap big piece of wall decor that can go here, can go over here. It should be colorful. You add in the ping pong table, you add in a foosball table, you add in a papa shot. Getting something like this, all of a sudden it becomes, um, this kid's room that they can hang out in and you don't need to go over the top but it makes it way better than this and on top of that you only have one photo of the garage now mind you, you don't need more more than one when you only have a ping pong table in there but you get the idea okay that's everything that i all the suggestions that i have that are going to allow you to get to uh making more money more easily with this property i hope you found this helpful i'm trying to make sure i didn't miss anything i hope you're an affiliate so you can share this with other people if you find it valuable as well man talk to you soon so John gave me a bunch of insight of which he thinks that will help pop the photos, maybe better photos, maybe some design stuff. The big, big update was outside. The inside was pretty dialed in. Like we have gorgeous furniture, great design. We hired a professional designer. So really not too much on the inside, but he did give us some pretty solid gems. And let's jump into the inside first, and then I'll show you the outside. So you probably hear me talk about this all the time, but adding color to an all white wall will definitely help. People argue this to me all the time, like, oh, there's no way that's gonna make a difference. But it actually really does. It pops in the photograph. It gives you like that a little bit more warmth into the house. So in the inside, this is our living room, dining room area, kitchen. So there's a kitchen, a little nook, and a living room. Just a plain, simple white wall and we decided to paint it this gorgeous green color. Now, if you look at this photo, it's like, boom, in your face. We did a gorgeous green color, Sherman Williams paint, so nice, nice paint. Just a beautiful green color to bring some of the outside into the inside of the home. I couldn't be more happy the way this looked. It's like really, really pops. I think just set a different vibe of the house. The other room we did was the game room. So amenities when it comes to game rooms is perfect for my avatar. So in this game room, you can see we have two TVs, like an old Pac-Man, but 
A lot of white going on here. You can see when the game room light is on, really yellow, but really white, kind of boring. Doesn't say that much. So I wanted to pop and I wanted to do something. So John suggested that we painted this back wall and add an Amazon pretty cheap foosball table. But instead I went to Billards and bought this really nice foosball table. It's freaking awesome. And now let's take a look. So now you see a beautiful blue that kind of ties in with the foosball table, ties in with the art on the side of the wall over here, adds a lot more color. On the listing itself, it really pops on Airbnb. I think it stands out from the competition. Pac-Man and the golf, we kept in that room because it fit really well. The foosball table was an amazing added touch. You can see it's a really nice foosball table and it kind of just made the room feel a lot better. Feel a little bit more luxury, but fun for kids. It's inside the house. So I think a lot of people are really gonna enjoy this new setup and it's gonna pop. And I'm gonna get more books. <laughs> Now, this is just like came out so, so, so cool. So when John Bianchi was doing his report, he noticed that we didn't have a pool table, foosball, and a couple other amenities. And a lot of our competition was converting their garages. They were doing, you know, golf simulators or like fully gutting the garage, putting a theater in. We didn't want to do that, but we knew we had to do something to update the garage. And this is a four car garage. So half of the garage, we're going to leave for two cars. And the other half, we decided to do this cool update. So we got a pool table, a ping pong table, got some couches in there. We put in a 55 inch smart TV in there now too. So now it's a full on hangout. People can hang out there. They can be a little louder and really enjoy this space. We did went to some thrift stores and found some extra fun art just to add some color. Now this enters me into the higher level just by adding some stuff in the garage you know, a couple thousand bucks. I'm now probably gonna beat out all of my competition at this point. Oh yeah, I forgot. And we went to Neon Freaks, I think it's called, and got a cool neon sign. It's bright red and it says garage. It just adds a cool other vibe, super cheap, it's $200. And I think it stands out really cool. The backyard is so incredible now. So when we first bought the house, the backyard just had a bunch of dirt, no wall, like just a little bit of dirt in the backyard and then it dropped down like 30, 40 feet. So we brought in like 50 to 70 trucks of dirt. That was expensive, that was a big project. But we brought in a bunch of dirt, we leveled it all up, we added a pool, six holes, putting green, a hot tub, a pergola, two TVs, two different kinds of barbecues, a gas barbecue and a Traeger barbecue, a fire pit, and and it came out incredible. It was amazing. It looked really, really good. We put a wall around the entire thing, a basketball thing by the pool so people can play basketball. I pretty much thought that was fine. That would be good. And it was. The listing was booking. People loved the backyard. And for the most part, it was fine. But I knew we could do better. And I saw the competition near me starting to step up their backyards. And then once I jumped on the call with John Bianchi, he just pointed out a handful of things that we were missing that we absolutely needed. And from all of his data, he can show by adding these kind of things, we were 100% gonna make more revenue and get more booking. And it seems crazy. I just said all of that and then we were thinking about adding more. I know my guest communication is on point right now. Pricing strategy is amazing. The photos are great. So I knew I had to level up somewhere. And this is where John really just opened my eyes. So what did we do? We did string lights that go over the pool. It literally just changed the entire vibe of the backyard just by doing that. We actually took down one of the smart TVs and added a 85 inch smart TV instead, which was amazing. Simple things like yoga mats. I didn't even really think to put yoga mats out there, but it looks really cool in the photographs. Some of the chairs needed some updating, but we didn't really have to do too much there. But the big, big part and where we spent a lot of money was we ended up hiring an artist who came in and just absolutely did a gorgeous mural in the backyard.
Just because you have a mural doesn't mean it's gonna make you more money. I wanted to be different. I didn't wanna be like just saying Scottsdale and we have a giant wall going around our property. So why not? This artist, which I'll put her link down below if you're looking for an artist, she is amazing. We went back and forth with ideas, but we wanted a lot of color. That was, we knew if we had a lot of color that was gonna help us in the listing, probably get us more bookings, definitely gonna pop in the photos. You can see the back wall completely is painted and it has a depth because we painted part of the pergola. Part of the pergola goes into the back wall, which is really cool. Then we have this weird shaped wall that is blocking our pool equipment. And the name of our house is Rancho Laredo. So we put Rancho Laredo in kind of like an old school hotel type of vibe sign on the mural. <laughs> I think it came out absolutely so cool. And then we tried to add elements of the area. One of the most famous mountain peaks out by us is called the Four Peaks. So we added that into the mural, the Four Peaks, added some cactus, and it just absolutely came out amazing. So let me show you before and after, and that way you guys can see. I haven't been doing more videos and updates. Do an update on why I haven't. I've just been really, really busy. I hate that excuse, but I always have to have my mind in the right spot when I'm making content. So hopefully you guys love that. Like I said, I'm a sponge. I love learning. Yes, I'm an expert in Airbnb on a lot of things, but it never hurts to have somebody else come and look at your listing, no matter how good you think you are. There's always room for improvement. Let me know what you guys think. Follow me on the IG. I'm trying to do more TikTok, and hopefully you guys like me on YouTube and stuff, all that stuff. So yeah, yeah.